Welcome back everyone to Necrosmith 2 and to 62,474 gold sitting up here in the bank. I played two maps on the first level, which does make me think that maybe they have tweaked the gold on every map. Nevertheless, we've got enough money to do some big chunky upgrades. Now, obviously, this one is shiny and uh, very attractive. Getting three titans would change things quite a lot. Getting a much, much greater Meteor spell, also quite tempting. We've likewise got down here the Tesla Machine level 3. We've got an upgrade to our cat bed. So many options. Also, by the way, thank you so much for all the reminders to use the heal spell on the tower. I completely forgot that I could do that. Uh, however, obviously we're going to be going with the Cursed Smithy. Produces Steel Golem and Cursed Armor Body Parts every night. Pachunk. There we go. It's going to cost us 100,000 to get more of these. My God. Uh, but it does produce two Steel Golem and two Cursed Armor Body Parts every night. That's actually really not that bad. That's really quite good. Now, another one I want to go for straight away is unlocking the fourth and final artifact spot. Uh, did I actually pick up any more artifacts out and about? Uh, got an assault helmet over here, plus 350 to maximum HP for the dead released out of portals, which might be useful. General's hat, last remaining undead. I think we've seen more or less all of these. Got the chaos shard, plus 500 gold for killing bosses. That really doesn't seem that useful to me though. Uh, I am playing with the holy grail though. Oh my God, this is amazing. 100 gold, 50 ore, and 25 mana for every enemy layer destroyed. That brings you in a lot early game. An awful lot. That is a huge boost to your economy early game. Uh, invincibility crystal. I'm actually thinking that the ability to cast spells more often would be very nice down here. Along with the ability to get a lot of stuff out of my layers. Along with the dead who destroy a layer get full HP re restored and the triumphal horn. The dead deal 25 more damage to enemy layers. Uh, someone did point out that uh, if I were to give my dead a boost to... Uh, where was it? Uh, a boost to health based on uh, tower components. Oh, it was the rook. Here we are. Uh, the dead receive plus 25 to maximum HP for every new tower add-on. I... By the end of a run, or even by mid-game, especially with this, like, with, with this ability, I'm usually just maxing out my tower. As soon as I unlock a new component, I can just, I can afford to max it out. That, combined with the rook, would be very, very potent. But we're going to see how this setup goes for now. Now, what are we going to do with the remaining 27,000 that we've got? Well, there are a couple of options. First and foremost, I think we need the Tesla Machine Level 3. We are going on to a new disc. We want the most uh, fancy bit of tech that we can get. Allows you to smite enemies with lightning. Damage, 11,000. Distance, 6. Cooldown, 75 seconds. Every minute and a quarter, we can drop 11,000 damage onto something. We can no longer afford the uh, Meteor Level 4, sadly. Uh, however, maybe we want to upgrade the healing to 2,500. That would probably help out the tower quite a lot. Uh, that being said, though, I'm thinking more Harpy body parts. Let's go grab that. We could get more Lizard body parts as well. We could get more Bone body parts. But I am strongly favoring either some more damage, because the minions that get to the tower are probably going to be a lot more dangerous. Or going for more healing, which would also help the tower. And it really is, a, oh, uh, we can only cho choose one of these at this point. That being said, actually, no, we could grab the lizard upgrade here, the bioreactor, and the bones. I think we'll go with that, actually. All right, so the next level for the Necromancer table will give us eight bone body parts every night. That's actually quite a lot. We're going to end up now with a lot of mana potential as a consequence of all of this. But... If the last disc was anything to uh, judge by, I don't think we've got a good chance of surviving the uh, the master disc. And also, I I spoiled myself by already seeing what this was going to look like. Oh my god! <laughs> We're going to be fighting on a donut in a candy cane village with Gumball guardians, probably. Where is Princess Bubblegum? Maybe over here. Uh, but also, this little uh, techno village over here. I'm very interested in what this is going to be. Uh, all right. Let's find out how this goes. 
best way to uh, prepare ourselves for the shenanigans to come is to just endure the shenanigans to come and uh, build a new uh, plan based on that. Ooh. Is that chocolate? And oh, it probably is chocolate. Okay. Let's uh, release the kitten. Okay, already get... What the heck are you... An angel head. I mean... How much mana? 50. Yeah, that's not happening. Right. Let's uh, get out a Bastard Orc skeleton. Also, also, look what I discovered. I discovered another epic body part, and that is part Elithid, part Jotun. I was just throwing something together at the time, and then it was like, oh, I've discovered a body part. And then I, it occurred to me, it's like, hang on, an enslaved Jotun? What about enslaved other races? And yes, look at that, a legendary. I don't really feel that this is a particularly good card, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Right, let's release you. You can get out there. Uh, we'll go ahead and put together another Skelly Boy to help gather resources. And release you straight away as well. There you go. You should go in a different direction. Uh, right, these libraries have got a lot going on at them. An antiquarian's room. The most expensive body part remains at the place of every day's destruction. Now that is kind of amazing. Do I want to use up my meteor spell already? I kind of do, actually, Sean. Sure. Let's see how it does. Pop. Let's see if you can get through there. And there we go. The bio laboratory. All fleshy body parts receive plus five regeneration. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get that on the go. There we are. You're probably going to grab me something else. Marvelous. Now, both of my spells have been used up, which is a bit of a tragedy, but oh well. I'm not going to put together a flying creature until I have uh, the uh, two wings. Sanding workshop, okay, not not terrible either, but we do need more body parts. The problem here is all I've got are expensive body Wait, 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 why am I already seeing the edge? Oh, are we on a tiny, tiny little disc here? Okay. Quite a few different biomes, though, in close proximity to one another. That is really strange. All right, I kind of like it, but... Oh, there we go, there's a... Uh, what the hell are you going to spawn? You're spawning cannons on minecarts. Okay, not and, and plague doctors. Okay, you get going a little bit more in the direction now I was expecting. Still, like, looking at a, a little theme park there, that's terrifying. Right, we sort of need something to defend us with. Uh, let's see what we can do. I can actually put together a Jotun already. If I really, 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 truly want to. Um, do I want a Jotun already, though? I would prefer something with a bit of vampirism. Uh, have I got anything that could give me vampirism? Anything at all that would give me some vampirism? I don't think I do. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go with this. Uh, I'm gonna need to sacrifice some more bits. I don't actually have a way of getting Jotun parts. Yet. So, this is kind of an expensive buy, but, uh, alright. There we go. Let's get you on, uh, defense then. Pop you into existence. You just hold this place. You've got that amazing hammer, which should do uh, a fantastic job of dealing with shenanigans. Right, I'm going to need two hits with that in order to get through uh, that uh, that theme park there. Right. Hopefully you can deal with all of them. 60 damage straight up. We need more of that. Thank you. We need a lot more of it, apparently. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, yeah, you stop them right there. You just hold the line. Right, okay, don't die, though. Pop. And pop the gas. We've already lost our Jotun bodyguard. Well, uh, let's pop the shield. Okay, this may... All right, this is going very south fantastically fast. Uh, sadly, we just don't have the parts to put all of this together. We've got a Xeno Horror leg. We've got a Mechanoid leg. Crazy speed on that. Uh, all right. Well, do I have any components that I can, I can, I can actually make an enslaved Jotun, I suppose? Uh, sure, let's make one of you then. Uh, if I can get the parts together for it, that is. Uh, I don't want to get rid of... I don't mind getting rid of the cursed uh, armor or mechanoid components because I'm actually getting a lot of those anyway. But this may already be over, unfortunately. Let's release you. I've got nothing else that I can do to... S no, that they... The first group melted my tower. A Jotun couldn't stop them. All right. 
All right, duly noted. Not to be a uh, sourpuss, but your goal looks like another disc. It is. Uh, sorry, it just seems that way. What's the difference? There is a master, which means there is control. Sorry, did you just say there is a master? Yes. The owner of that hand, the size of our tower? Yes. Could you at least... I don't know. Take this book off me. Weren't you the one complaining that I didn't tell you enough? I changed my mind. With more wisdom comes more sorrow. No, uh, that's true. You can it's a Okay, well, we're immediately going to jump back in and see if that was just a fluke. <clears throat> but clearly I need to keep my spells not for libraries. I need to use those straight away on the towers. Fair enough. Right, let's get a skelly bones out there straight away. Release, go, and the kitten can go as well. Already in lithid head. This is the one of the problems that we're going to experience. Oh, what on earth is going on there? Oh, I've got my controller plugged in. My bad. Uh, let's grab all of these together. Release you as well. Go, go, go. I need to find the layers and I need to destroy the layers more or less straight away because that is just horrible. Got enough of lithid body parts. We've got an angel with a flaming sword. I mean, putting together something to get out there and fight the enemies before they get to me might be a plan. That would probably help out. We've got four lithid legs. Okay. Uh, also, we've got more Titan bits. Uh, we've got one new Titan torso, the Xeno Mother Torso. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, but it's got a lot of health and it's got armor, which is an impressive one. Uh, other than that, we've also got the uh, Diva Arm with Covenant and Diva Arm with a Magic Star. And uh, so we can now create a full Diva Titan. But that is not our focus right now. Our focus has to be getting out there and destroying bits and bobs around the place. I wonder, could I... Can I make an Illithid that is just the legs and the head instead of the head and the arms would that work i can certainly try uh, in that case let's do this uh get rid of those parts am i even going to get close to that yes i am right could you get out there and attack things yeah it doesn't give us a a, a uh, captured lithid sadly sadly uh, let's keep a close watch. There we go. Orc burial. Fantastic. Let, get, let's uh, start leveling that up a bit. My lord, they're taking them a long time to get through those uh, libraries, to be fair. Right, okay. We've got a tower over here. A chapel. I have suspicions. Oh, doubles cast. Nice. And then Meteor should finish you off. Uh, we didn't do it in time before the mimics were released. And eyeball, okay, we, we are possibly in trouble. But we have wiped it out. That is at least something. Our Jotun is going to go and uh, play with them. Uh, Sculptor's Workshop, possibly, but I think we're going to go for the Orcs instead. Now, you're going to make a beeline for them. They started quite far out, though. Another Illithid head, Illithid arm with Dread Staff. And I don't actually mind Armor's Workshop. Actually, not too terribly bad. I wouldn't mind getting an angel arm with a flaming sword, but I've got a funny feeling this is going to be incredibly expensive undead to put together. Ooh, Xenostalker leg. Why is my controller just taking over the game constantly? <laughs> it's like, no, you want to use a controller? No, I haven't touched anything on the controller. Why would you think that? Uh, right, Xeno horror leg. Mutant, uh, mutating tentacle. It's 120 by itself. Fair enough. Uh, we want to use... We got much armor at all. We've barely got any armor, actually. Okay, let's have a look at the other options for arms now that we've got a couple. We've got the Cursed Armor Arm with Hammer. Good bit of armor on that. The Steel Golem Arm with Steam Gun. I actually would like the Steam Gun. For the pushback. Legs wise, same as before. Head wise, got a good bit of armor on the cursed helmet, but very small view. Uh, we could have the ravenous bite from the Xenostalker head. All right, I mean, you've 
got the potential of being quite dangerous, but you're also painfully expensive to put together. Uh, let's go through a bunch of these parts then. Try to get rid of the ones that I know I'm going to have lots of in the end. We have got vampirism, so that's one of the main things I need to... What on earth is going on there? Exactly. I have no idea. Uh, right, revive you and release. It is stuck. Okay, the game is having a funny five minutes. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. You did dam you did good damage there. Release the cat. Release the cat again. Okay, who just died? That was my Jotun. I wasn't paying attention, apparently. Uh, are you losing a lot of health there? You are, actually. But your vampirism is keeping you going. Nice. Keep it up. I think you should be okay. The Xeno Horror legs are doing crazy damage. Ah, there's the uh, the mimics. Disapprove. But you're doing a good bit of work there. We're going to help out with some extra damage. Finish him off. There we are. All right. You should be good to go and uh, take on a base. Sadly, didn't get double cast. All right, lost our Jotun friend. That does suck a bit, but uh, we can continue with this. We should be able to put together some more Chimera. Actually, let's have a look if I can put together a full something something. No, but I do have a Xenohora body. That is going to drive me nuts. Um, into, again, Steam Gun, I think. We could go with the Elithid Dread Staff. But I think the Cursed Hammer might be a better play here. Uh, as for the head, we have a little bit of vampirism already. I could add a bit more. Or I could add more armor. And I think more armor is the call here. As for the legs, though, we really don't have that much. And the elithid legs are kind of garbage. We've got okay health, but oh, we've got no good legs. I'm going to see if I can't get something else. Uh, let's get the armor's workshop. Upgrade that. There you go. Now you're heading towards... I really should tell you to hunt down the lair, shouldn't I? Yeah. Go towards the nearest lair instead of uh, just wandering. I would like you to take out the lairs as quickly as you can. You're going to activate a new one soon, aren't you? Uh, unfortunately, I suspect that is the... Okay, what's just happened there? Yeah, we are, we are getting something from down here. The meat cellar. Uh, let's go ahead and... You know what? We're going to grab the Sculptor's Workshop. Distract our enemies a bit more. Right, drop meteors. We're not going to be able to do that much damage. We're not going to be that lucky with the uh, placement. But it is now within lightning kill range. Which is the main thing. Right, there's a bunch of enemy. Oh, they fly. Actually, yeah, what I should have done is made sure that you were set to attack the uh, units themselves. Okay, gonna have to teleport you back and then bring you down. Hopefully grab their attention a bit. That is a solid attack. That steam gun is doing amazing work. Alright, release the kitten. Okay, the vampirism is helping out. Alright, we are going to have to have manual control here. Because we, that is too much danger. Right, we've got enough to drop a nuke on you. Pop. Okay. Uh, right, we need some more units. What have I got over here? <laughs> Game! Why? It, that is the broken leg, isn't it? Can I melt it? No, I can't. Just going to have to live with it. All right, Xenohorror leg... Uh, the Treant Leg, uh, what's that give us? Amphibian, mm, no. Now that being said, Armor and Regeneration is going to make you, st it actually doesn't make you that slow. I take it back. I was going to say it was going to make you as slow as Molasses, but no, apparently not. Uh, good Cursed Shield there. I think the Hammer though, and either the Steam Gun or the Gatling Gun, it looks like the Steam Gun. Uh, Xeno Horror Body, or I could go with Cursed Armor Body here. It's got thorns, vamp high vampirism, um, and a lot of armor. But double mutant, mutant tentacles? Uh, no, we're going to go with the high armor, I think. And let's just get a womp load more vampirism. I think this is a good enough unit 
let's go ahead and sacrifice some components to make this happen. Uh, we'll get rid of the Jotun head. There we are. And release you. Go, go, go. Release the cat. Why is the cat not released? Release the cat again. Release the cat again. Why can't I have that with my attack spells? My lord. Right, let's see how you guys go. We need flying units, though, ultimately. Ooh, I like that effect. You look so ridiculous, but so amazing at the same time. Like someone just stuck a doll's head on the top of a Terminator. The most expensive body part remains in the place of every dead death. I approve. Let's grab that. Okay, that was not as much of a pushback attack. Okay, let's see how they do. I've got grand hope. The steam gun is doing a good job. They have to get close to be messed up by the thorns, though, I feel. That's kind of a necessary one. You're doing, doing okay, though. I need you to get in there, though, not just wander off. I need you to, to actually... If it comes down to it, I want you to die in, in place of the tower. Oh, my lord, your steam gun is garbage. Oh, no. Okay. Steam gun has redeemed itself. We forgive. Right. Let's get over here. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. Good lord. Devouring. I, I mean, I'm alright with it. We've got the illithid head with the brain-eating lava there again. Let's see what things we can put together. Uh, nothing really right now. Actually, no, we can get a couple of things. Uh, do I have anything I want to buy? No. Right, then I want to release a couple of you. Go, go, go. Go get some stuff done. But let's put together another defender of towers. We've got wings now. We've got a lot of damage and wings. Maybe. Mm, the problem is, are you going to survive for long? Mechanoid arm with flamethrower? Hmm. Mechanoid arm with chainsaw? Uh, we don't have enough armor going on, though. I hate you. Um, I would just like the armor at this point, but if I take that, I can't have flying. But it's good armor as well. It's not actually counted as armor, though. Interestingly. Even the thing with the shield isn't counted as armor. Alright, you've got an enormous amount of damage potential, so I'm going to go ahead with that. Let's get you out there as a uh, gatherer of bits. You've got 130 speed. This should do us well. What on earth are your attacks like, though? Okay, I want to see the next one. Oh, worm sign. I see. Very well. You carry on being you. Uh, we've got another attacking group from this side, which I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, maybe I should actually tell you to go and attack enemies as well. Get up there and take them out. Because you'll gather resources too. There we are. And if our enemies are all coming from this direction, it's going to be much safer. Right, let's drop meteors first. See how that goes. Drop lightning again. Because we know that Meteor by itself is not unlikely to win that fight. Okay, that is actually pretty nice. The very pulse of the machine. We've just found a Cybersaurus part. Let us find you. Where are you, Cybersaurus part? I must know what you are. Um, there we go. Cybersaurus leg. Okay. Actually, not that great. I'm not sure why I was so excited. Uh, but that being said, high speed. Very high speed. Uh, we could go with the flamethrower, maybe. And perhaps the cursed armor with the crossbow. I'm not sure. What I would like is for a layer killer to have a lot of, uh, a lot of hits. Because the seam guns look like they're actually shooting out a lot of components, and if each one of those gets an extra bit of damage, then maybe that's going to be good enough. Um, we'll add in a Xeno Horror part there. And now I want a good bit of vampirism on top. I think the Illithid with the brain-eating lava would be the right way. It's 530? You are having a laugh, Melado. 
but all right. I guess I can't say no, because I'm far, far too too curious. But I wish I could. All right, let's release you. You are going to be a layer destroyer. Go forth. Impress me. Show me what it is that you can do. Please and indeed thank you. Can you please catch up? Oh, my lord, why? Okay, never mind. You're going to eat him. Tomp. Okay, that is an amazing ability. I take everything back. Right, let's have a look at the other components. Can we afford anything more? Uh, I really would like to save up for all of the orc body parts. Now, in terms of all those orc body parts, have I got enough of lithid bits? I may do. Let me try and put together... Uh, hmm. Can a lithid take over an, a skeleton? I want to find out. But let's see if an lithid can take over a skeleton. Let's just use basic skeleton parts first. Uh, yeah. Will this work? No. <laughs> okay, it's got to have a brain for the illithid to be able to eat it, I guess. That makes sense. It does. Okay, this... I feel that you are going to be dealing enough damage to make this work for us. Right, we've got the bio laboratory. All flash body parts get more regeneration. You know what we mean as well? Add in the uh, extra HP as well. Okay, there's some scallywags down here, but hopefully your attacks will just go straight past them, and yes, pop. There we are. You're free to go on to the next one. All right, I need some more spells, of course. Uh, our illithid friend over here, causing all kinds of terror, I approve. Uh, I'm not sold on the thorns. I like the vampirism and the armor, though. Ooh, vampire arm. Bat flock. All right. You have my attention. Do we have other components as well? No. Uh, let's go with the Jotun legs with armor. As for your head. Uh, the tree end head is nice and all, but I don't think it's really what we want here. I love the high view of the Jotun head. Am I saying that right? I think I am. Jotun, it's not Jotun, the J is a Y instead, but uh, I'm, I'm not 100%, so uh, do let me know. Uh, right. Stream of Lightning, maybe? Again, what we're looking for here is a layer destroyer. Maybe a flock of bats, because it's a flock. I like the idea of that. Let's go ahead and pop you together, then get rid of the... Uh, mechanoid parts. We need a few more besides. We should be able to put this together, I think. Uh, let's see about getting rid of some of these heads. Right, another layer dis destroyer. Release. Go forth. Do amazing things. You are slow. I have regrets. Uh, where are you? Yeah, you've only got 77. But, you know what? You might be able to do some amazing things. Uh, we're going to pick on you for now. Because our slow friend is coming this way and might have a bit of trouble with it. Yeah, that steam gun, though, is amazing. And the flock of bats also seems quite powerful. I'm going to have some trouble at the base, though, if my peeps aren't back here right now. Let's go and find... Where are you? And what weapons do you have? The hammer and the steam gun. You've got... Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's teleport you back. Whomp. Let's have you go for the enemies to our north. Right, release the kitten. Right, how are you? You're actually going straight for... Wow, you are moving fast, too. There is a purpose to your movements. A dread purpose, and I love it. Our bat friend is getting melted. However, their vampirism... It, okay, never mind. Who knew? Vampires would be hard to kill. Right, we'll just drop some uh, meteors there. Not getting the best luck with the with the rolls there, unfortunately. Must say, a little bit disappointed. Huge vampires, a vampire bite as well. Okay. Uh, do we have some uh, lots of body parts? Let's see. Can I make a can I make a, a harpy? I might be able to make a possessed harpy. The Holy Bomb. Once every 24 hours, the last dead causes a 
massive explosion when destroyed. That doesn't seem that great. Let's see. Is this going to give us uh, a uh, killer harpy? Send you out to destroy things? Yes, enslaved harpy. I like it. Release. Though, honestly, this is just going wild. It is getting everywhere, and I'm loving it. All right, let's get this fully upgraded if we can. There we are. More layers need to be destroyed, please, and thank you. I require more bits. The glass workshop. All bone and flesh heads receive plus... Ooh, plus 10 vision, you say. And then an extra 5 vision. I like it. Optics Laboratory, all artificial heads receive plus five vision. Okay, we're, we're actually gaining somewhere now with all of this. And that last area is it is launching its own dread attack. It doesn't appear to matter to our units, which is great. Are you fighting cookie monsters? It looks like you are. All right. I'm not going to say anything about that. It's not my place. Oh, very nice again. Ah. Oh, well. It'll die soon enough. Right. Okay, at this point, I'm starting to feel confident enough to put together a Titan. So we want Diva Head, obviously. Now, the thing is, the Xeno Stalker or the Diva Body, if we go with the, the sorry, the Xeno Mother, we get armor. We still get a little bit of um, regeneration, but we get armor and a lot more health. But we don't get as much vampirism, which is a bit of a pain. That being said, if we go with the Diva Arms, we can. Let's go ahead with both Diva arms, and we can get even more vampirism with the legs as well. And they are not as fast as the flesh legs, but they've got a lot more health. We've already got huge amounts of regeneration. I think we want the, uh, yeah, we want the the vampirism up. Now, problem with this, it's going to require a lot of lot of bits. First and foremost, I need to sacrifice 38 magical parts to this. That is going to be a Rather large, tall order. I hate you. Uh, tall order. And then alien body part. Well, we got loads of lithid legs. That part shouldn't be too hard for us to do. There we go. The alien parts are already done. Uh, really? The the spark? It, ma fair enough. Okay, it's magical. I'm right, going to get rid of two of the vampire bodies. We're going to get rid of all of the diadem heads. Uh, some of the illithid arms, not all of them though. All right, this is a this is a project. We will come back to it when we've got more bits. On the topic of getting more bits, can I summon any more units to get out there and help out with gathering things? We can. Right, then let's do it. I would like some harpies, please. Oh, I can get one. Uh, I guess we could send out a mechanoid. Sure, it's got speed thirty. We'll make one of you too. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of some components in order to make that happen though uh, let's get rid of that a demon head horn strike hmm. I haven't got many parts here I'm gonna be honest this might be difficult lucky horseshoe you start the game with one random tower add-on I mean that could be cool but All right, let's get you out there you're actually quite fast so go ahead looks like we are losing components though which is not great uh, gonna need you back at base to deal with the incoming attackers. There we are. That shouldn't be too bad. Release the cat. There we go. That steam gun is amazing. The devourer is just absolutely fantastic in every way something could be fantastic. I'm really loving the Xeno Horror Head. That is awesome. Now, vampire body. Can I put together an entire vampire? I very much doubt it. Very much doubt it. Have I got the... I've got the vampire legs. Okay, you know what else I could do? <laughs> Ugh. These lithids are getting around. It's an infestation, I tell you. An infestation. If this actually turns into something, I'm going to be tickled. Uh, do I want you to gather... Yeah, sure. Gather research. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> It's only an epic, though, not a legendary. I feel a little bit offended on the vampire's behalf. Okay. Oh wow. That is that is a lot of stuff going on there. You are you are doing stuff. Yes, you are. All right. Looks like we've come to the next concentric circle. Where's the next attack going to be coming from, though? Uh, 
Got increased damage of all magical weapons. You know what? We've got loads of uh, cash over there. So let's go ahead and buy out the orcs. Glass workshop as well. Get that extra vision. Uh, at this point, we will invest in both of these. All artificial heads get some extra vision. Like I said, that holy grail is kind of bonkers. Gives us so much to work with. So, so much. Alright. You're just looking for something to fight. That is also okay. Let's have a look at the heads we've got. We've got the demon head. Hmm. What kind of vision have you got? 27. That's not too bad for something that is a, a uh, attacking head. It's also divine. <laughs> You know what? Sure, that's actually probably uh, reasonably accurate to the law. All right, drop that off. Drop off a uh, oh lightning strike again. Oh, that's amazing. Perfect. And jobs are good. And uh, we do have enemies coming our way, but that's okay. Uh, what I would love now is to find out where the next layer is coming from. I have no idea what the next attack is going to be, though. That is kind of scary. Uh, explores magnifier. Every new ore mine increases production by five units a day. Ooh, that would actually be kind of amazing. I'm not going to lie, that would really push things forward. Uh, extra vision, extra vision. And now we've only got a couple more bits that we need to uh, drop down. Kitten is about ready to be released. Go forth. Right, let's have a look at the components we can put together, though. We've got... We have got the Draconid body. Pyrotechnics department gives the dead with artificial body parts self-destruct. Uh, don't worry, it isn't as bad as it sounds. When killed, they explode. Not just, you know, they'll blow themselves up because they're having a bad day. Um, let's see. What have we got over here? We've got steel pinions. Do we have any other flying parts? Sadly, we don't. That's okay. We've got demon legs. They can cross fire. Uh, we've got angel legs. We've got cursed armor legs. Do I have anything with really high armor? Um, the vampire legs don't give vampirism. That actually makes me sad. Uh, there's 80 speed there with the demon legs, though. Maybe we go for that 167 on a resource gathering unit. I think we can make that happen. Sure, release. Let's get you out there. Now... Many people ask why I just released them from here instead of going from the portals. In this instance, that's actually a really good question, and I'll, I'll probably redress that and try and do that a bit differently. Uh, but quite often, when I've got defenders, they're killing things close by, and unless I release a, uh, a unit from the tower, those things don't get picked up. Or if I'd released it from a, a portal, they'd walk back. Right, right, let's get you sorted. First meteors, we're getting it back. Lightning. Okay, double meteors it is then. We might be able to take this out if we're lucky. If not, then our minions finally have some work to do. Oh, we've got another one up top. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice work. Yeah, yeah, our minions are going straight for it. Okay, that those Xeno Horrors are... Well, they're living up to their name, frankly. They are horrifically dangerous. What are we going to do? That has got a lot of health. But it doesn't matter, it appears. The Necrolo Laboratory. All bone body parts lose 15 HP, but gain 5 armor. Yes. Will this build with the armor as workshop, I wonder? Also, Gremlin Workshop, let's get you going. Pyrotechnics, let's get you going. We're getting a lot of goodness. Uh, let's get that as well. Release the cat. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem that this is actually doing any damage whatsoever. That is glorious. Okay. Have we got any other problems? Well, we got a little bit of a problem over there, but uh, I'm going to leave it up to my minions to take care of that, frankly. Though, I am a little bit concerned. We've got problems heading towards our base right now. So let's finish off our Titan, shall we? Uh, we have got Draconid wings. Nice. Uh, Test rack can go. Some legs can go. I'm not going to build, be building one of you, I don't think. Uh, I need to start putting together some... Oh, wow, we've got so many Draconid he heads. Uh, I'm going to need to put together some uh, cursed armor types, I think. Right. I need a frankly stupid amount of mana for this project. There we go. Revive. And release. We want you, sure, to kill the enemies coming towards me right now. Alright. That's looking very... Is that coming out of the Xeno... Wait. Guts? Griffith? Okay, I, uh... Hmm. Honestly, because it is called the Diva, definitely Griffith. Uh, but... 
Wow. All right, wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's see. We could put a Draconid together. What? Oh, is that the star? Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. But... Let's see. Can I put together a piece of cursed armor? Can I make an actual piece of cursed armor right now? I've got a flail, triple morning star, a hammer. Let's do it. And legs. Let's make one of these. You seem quite capable. You're not fast, though. But let's create you. Cursed Thrasher. V damage, vampirism, armor. Okay. I like it. Let's have a look at you. 155 armor. You should be a solid unit there. Now, the thing is, maybe I want my uh, my Titan to actually be guarding the, the base. Biochemical Laboratory. Gives the fleshy dead the corpse gas explosion ability. When the dead's HP drops below 50%, an explosion occurs, dealing damage proportional to the number of fleshy body parts. Now, is that a one and done? Or, if I have them with enough regeneration that they get their health back, do they then do a little bit more uh, do, does it trigger again can i have that trigger over and over and over and over because i would very much like it if it could uh let's see can i get a draconid i can i could put together a bat i could have a demon arm with adam's apple very biblical uh all right i could have burning branch i think if i'm gonna put any flight here though let's go with full flight uh, Xeno Horror Leg, definitely. Demon Leg to get the speed. Huge speed, actually. Do I really want you to be flying, though? Actually, no, I don't. What I, what I want you for is to help me take on enemies at the base. Yeah, let's, let's get you made. You're an expensive uh, undead to put together. We've got Cybersaurus Arms. Okay, the Cybersaurus is fly. I wasn't expecting that. Not gonna lie. Uh, that has caught me off guard. Right. Vive, release. And now I want another undead to help out. Uh, for this one, I think... Yeah, let's go with the, the armor. I don't think we want anything else. Let's go with uh, these, because they look like they do a lot of damage to a uh, boss in one place. Yeah, I think this would be a, a good boss fighter. Gonna need a lot of alien, a lot of magical body parts. Not getting a lot of skeletal body parts, unfortunately. We haven't had an opportunity to get that set up. Uh, we need to get rid of a bunch of alien body parts, thinking about it. Uh, do we have enough to make that happen, is the question. Oh no! Am I completely... Locked out of using their legs now? Oh, that is not okay. That is actually deeply not okay. Damn it. That is very unfortunate for us. I don't think we're going to be able to put this together. I need more alien body parts. Damn it! Okay, let's get those body parts back then. I hope we get them back. Uh, we'll make just a pure diva. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but I said what I said. Uh, have we even got enough parts for this? Oh, yeah, we, we do. We, looks like, thankfully, the uh, alien body parts came in clutch there. Uh, let's get all that. There we go. Release. You're in defense mode. Let's find out how this goes. We're losing some of our gatherers, but that's okay. Things are about to get really nasty here. Have we got any more areas that I might be able to nuke? Let me have a look. Are any close to death? Uh, doesn't seem it. Okay, well, let's drop this then. Lucky? No, not lucky. Not today, it appears. Uh, what I really need right now is my layer destroyer out there destroying layers. Have we still got that layer destroyer? Uh, no, we don't. We lost them. Oh, that's deeply saddening. Oh, well. Uh, right. We've got a tree. You know what? I'm not going to talk smack. It's a, t a tree titan. It deserves respect. 
it can probably still kill me. Lava generator. Yes. Also, yes. Also, yes. Let's grab all of the things. One of the things I can't grab. Let's grab you. Control. Let's get you up here. Alright. You should be able to get into that fight now. Bring the other one up. There's a lot of damage coming our way, but it's okay. We're doing a lot of damage back to it as well. My titans are healing. Oh, wait. My titan is having a little bit of trouble. Drop the meteorite on it. Is my titan doing okay? My titan's regen is... Ooh, no. Titan's gone. Okay, it did a good job, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of impressed. Right, we are, we are good. Ooh, I don't think I've gotten all of the titan body parts from the other dead godhead. Wow. Uh, I don't think I've gotten all of the other Titan body parts from the uh, last area. Did I lose that one too? Oh, we lost them right at the end. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, right. Well, we are losing units left and right, unfortunately. Now, you are still here. Can you take this on or are you going to take a load of damage? It looks like you might be able to take it on, which is good enough. That's right. You you just dump all of the damage in here. I'll help you out, too. There you are. You can move on. Now, I would like a new Titan. I would very much like a new Titan. Let's have a look at the dead god head. Ten divine body parts. It's got a lot of vampirism. It hasn't got much vision, though. But a lot of health. Uh, let's get the armor. I quite like that, but honestly, I think for, like... Crowd control. Let's go with those. And sure, we'll grab these as well. We're not going to have enough parts for it. It's going to take us some time to... I'm not using up my Xeno Horror body parts. Those are far too precious to me. Uh, this one's going to take a little bit to put together. But that's all right. We'll start from the bottom and just move up. I'm really not building things with those parts anymore. Uh, this is going to be a process, though. Uh, let's get all the Jotun parts. Especially because those are Jotun parts without armor. That isn't really a big deal for me. Uh, let's get these parts gone. We're, we're drowning in draconid parts. It's kind of amazing. Alright, we need a couple more divine parts. Uh, well, one more. You know what? Oh. Really? <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> Scallywag. Alright, well, we'll wait for a little bit. Right, let's find other places where I can drop some lightning. And again, there we go. We're losing defenders though unfortunately or was that an attacker it might have been an attacker either way let's go ahead and put together a new fighter so i definitely want the xeno horror body part uh do we have any xeno horror arms we don't have any xeno horror arms okay i kind of want to see what the, the beehive is like but i also want volcano awakening um no, actually, we're going to, well, yeah, I, I mostly want the, the Volcano Awakening here. That's the main reason I'm putting that in there. As you know, horror leg, along with a demon leg, you are an absolutely, quite literally, unholy chimera. Let's sacrifice a bunch of parts there and release you as, a, as an enemy attacker. You haven't got a lot of, ha of armor, but you've got potentially a lot of damage, which will hopefully put you in very good stead my sincerest hope is you've got enough raw damage output to deal with what's coming your way and you do seem to be sensible enough to draw back as well which is good uh th did we just lose the you know horror there oh it looks like we did oh that's a shame okay very well we're gonna need more and more and more of those then uh, another Xeno Horror component. Still not many Xeno Horror parts here. Increases all damage of ranged weapons. Ooh, that would be very nice. Uh, may as well get the Mage's Abode set up, though. There we are. Get all of these. Right. Uh, let's see. Xeno Horror body part there. I think there's a definite. I need another leg, though. Yeah, we just don't have much in terms of really good legs. I guess it'll be, have to just be the demon part here. The Genesis hat. 30% discount on creating the dead. If the tower's durability is less than 10% of its maximum. No. <laughs> I'm not going to plan to be in that 
dire of a situation. That's a ridiculous proposition. Uh, maybe the bat flock, but I, we, well, you know what? We'll put on the cursed armor components. Actually, gives a bit of extra survivability there. Um, maybe the draconid head, or even more. No, let's go with this. I'm not liking the lack of armor, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's release you. Go, do your best. Release the cat and release another cat. There we are. Two cats. How are we doing? We need to take this out. ASAP. We do still have a bunch of uh, gatherers out here doing a good job. Let's drop a nuke. Drop another nuke. There we are. That will hopefully die. Yeah. There we go. Good job. And... Oh, yes. Okay. And again. No. All right. Well, we had a good bit of luck with that, to be fair. Can't be too cheeky. Right. Can I put together the Titan yet? Let's see what we can do. We've got a demon arm with gravitation orb. I really like the idea of this. But it is not what we're doing just yet. Uh, let's pop you in. There we go. Magical body parts are done. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, we do have something else I can put in there. Right, let's get the elithid body parts in there. I need to make more elithid versions as well. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. That the Xeno Horror components are too precious to just throw away like that. Uh, let's give you. You got good vision, nice vampirism. Pop the demon arm down here, along with the uh, fire elemental arm. Volcanic awakening would be nice. And as for your legs, we'll put one demon leg. One oh, I bet you could make some sort of half and half demon angel. That would be amazing. All right, let's release you. Go forth. Do your damage, please and thanks. Got a lot of nastiness coming down from over here. Two of them right next to each other. I'm going to need to get a proper layer destroyer out and about soon. You're heading up here. I'm going to leave you to that. Uh, do we have the magic? Oh, there we go. Cybersaurus arm with Annihilator. All right now. We are cooking with fire. Do I have another good arm? No. Mm, we'll wait for the Draconid arm. We're not using that up. Oh, Cybersaurus body with mortar. All right, I was gonna go for the uh, the fire, but you're you're twisting my arm, okay? I've got you down there. Let's uh, start working on these a little bit. Now, meteor and another hit from. Damn it, we lost one of our fighters. Oh no, we lost the... Yeah, we lost my uh, layer destroyer. That is a big hit. Oh well. Not a lot we can do about that one. Uh... Okay, no, we're going to grab both of these. There we go, you now fly. Alright, do we have Cybersaurus legs? We don't. Do we even have a Cybersaurus head? We do. Antimatter generator... I really want to make a full-on Cybersaurus, but I don't think that is on the cards for us right now. And I think it is better to do this. You are going to be our layer destroyer, but dear God, you are expensive. Revive. Let's find a nearby portal if we can. Here. Release. See what you can do. I will help out a little bit. All right, I'm liking that. That is a lot of nastiness. That is a massive amount of nastiness. Keep it up. Impress me. I'll help out a little bit more. Maybe I should just aim at the uh, layer itself. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's pretty good. I like it. Uh, are you actually gonna take any damage? Apparently not. But if something were to spawn on you right now, it might change everything for the worse. Okay, never mind. That is great. 
we've got a Cybersaurus. They were worth the hype. They are everything that we wanted and more. Uh, right, let's go ahead and finish off our uh, Titan. There we go. Now, what are we going to have you do? Uh, let's release you. You can just defend. Go and attack things. Well, I mean, you, you can attack things. Alright, that's all the nastiness that's going to be coming from that direction for a little bit. Oh, actually, I should be over here instead. Because this one's close to death. Ah, that was silly of me. If I'd not done that, I would have been able to take it out. Damn. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, Two... S you got to be kidding me. Cybersaurus body with railgun. Well, I mean... I just need another... Uh, I mean, I got another armor, I guess. Wait. <gasps> yes. Okay, we have been... We've been rewarded. Don't know why, but we've been rewarded. And I accept the reward. Uh, right, let's get rid of... So many draconid legs. Right. Release you. And go. It didn't make a Cybersaurus component. Oh, man. Like a Cybersaurus release. A little bit sad about that. Okay, maybe uh, the part with all of the, the weapon systems on it is not considered the, the same body part. Blood Priest Mask. When the player kills one of their creatures, the rest get plus 58 HP. Oh. It's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Sort of like it. Alright, where is... Where are my Cybersauri? Armors Workshop. All armored body parts receive plus 4 armor and plus 3 to revive and burn costs. Yes, let's go ahead and spend some money. Or some ore. More to the point. There we are. On that note, let's check out the Cybersaur. Oh, we've lost one. Oh, they weren't as uh, survivable as I'd hoped then. Oof. They ran into some problems. Again, something is nuking my base. What are you doing down? Yeah, okay. Well, that is unfortunate. That had like 200 armor though. That's more than unfortunate. That's terrifying. Now let's nuke this place and start nuking this one. What what fight did you get into that you lost? How terrifying. Okay. Uh, we definitely need more units out there gathering things, so let's pop together, if we can, a complete... Um... Yeah, we don't have the arms for it. I don't... Oh, yeah, we've got the head there. Okay, that's quite a lot of nastiness. How about giving you some really heavy arms, then? With armor. Uh, that, that is to say, armored arms. Uh, you got a dual lightsaber. I think the flamethrower would be better for you. I want you out there gathering all of the bits. I probably do need to actually start putting together some real units again. It's been a while. Uh, okay, so we've got harpies, we've got lizard men, we've got vampires. We got Jotun. What else can I infest with elithids? Uh, can, uh, no, probably not those. Draconids? An infested, uh, enslaved draconid, maybe? That'd be quite fun. Have I got another little body part, or have I gotten rid of them all? Oh, I must have gotten rid of them all. Alright. Oh, it didn't give us a, an infested draconid. That is a shame. Uh, orc, then, I would say. But have I got enough... A lithid. Yeah, I do. Maybe I need two separate elithid parts. That is a possibility. I don't have a head anymore. Damn. Okay. Well, we could make just an armored boy. Let's go for a full mechanoid. Uh, we'll give you a flamethrower. We'll give you a lightsaber. 
And mechanoid legs. There you are. You can also get out there and gather components. Also not a uh, valid component. I am a little bit shocked by that one. That one in particular. Let's see if we can't put together a full vampire. We should be able to, I imagine. There we go. Going to need a lot of components for it, though, but... There we are. Vampirism damage. Speed. A lot of speed, actually. That's not too bad. Right, release you from there. Go about your business. They'll go off in different directions and do their thing. I am going to need... A lot more protection here, though. And do I have the wings for this? I sort of do and sort of don't. I think I'm just going to go for... Uh, well, we could have the um, Kusa, uh, Kusarigama. Not familiar with that weapon. Not going to lie. Uh... Volcano Awakening would be good for a defensive unit here. And then, no, let's not use the Cyber Source parts. I haven't got enough of those to just bandy them around like that. Alright, I want you on defense release. Hopefully you can do a good job here. Uh, the Treant Head actually is doing a fairly good job, yeah. Pop that. There's a lot of shenanigans going on around here. Thankfully, we did manage to deal with it. That took a little bit more effort than I would like. Oh, was there too late. Right, do we ha still have our layer destroying Cybersaurus? We do. Are you actually going to win? I mean, you are quite powerful, yes. But you are melting to these units. Let's get a heal. See if you're fast enough. Move away. You are fast enough, but when they spawn heavy units... Oh, no. What just happened? Oh, no, never mind. Ha-ha! We have discovered the control node provides administrative access to all disk systems. Okay. Looks like we found the big bad. 100,000 health, though. All right. Uh, we have destroyed that area. Uh, we're going to go up there and try and take it on. Uh, release the kitten. Uh, which one are you going to right now? Uh, but let's go over there and start dropping spells on it. And it's going to take us a long time to get through it, but sure. A meteor would be nice. There's a lot of shenanigans going on down here. Uh, we need some more layer destroys, but I think a titan or two would be better. The vampirism is great on you. It really is. There's uh, no... No uh, avoiding that. I'm going to give you Covenant Arms as such. I'm going to try and set you up. We're probably going to have to go through the next fight first. But once that's done, I will send you out to try and take on the uh, layers. Magic. <laughs> Frustrating. Uh, it, it, it's literally just wasted body parts for me right now. That's the frustrating part. Uh, do we have any more alien components? We do not. I'm not going to use up that because that is a solid option there as a wing. Uh, got a couple of you. All right. Um, right, we got all the magic body parts we need. Now it says alien parts and then divine parts. That's going to be a bit more of a an ask, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, as for that, though, we've got a full draconid we could put together with mechanoid limbs and maybe even a mechanoid head for a nice bit of armor. I think that will help out a fair bit, actually. Let's get rid of a lot of those. Release. Go. We need those protections. Now, whether I'm going to be able to get the divine parts together, that is a big ask. They are not as easy to come by. What kind of mechanoids have I made? So I've got the Gatling gun and the chainsaw. How about the steam gun and the chainsaw? May, uh, maybe put this together. Sorry, uh, steam golems rather, not mechanoids. Uh, there we are. Sure. No. Huh. 
Ah, one thing I can check is if I look at the Steam Golem in here, wherever you are. There we are. We can have a look. Ah, okay, so they are interchangeable. When you see stuff like that, one uh, one thing that I've learned is check what body parts will satisfy a component slot. So any type of gun and I guess any type of melee. But two types of guns might have been an interesting choice. But I can see that the, for example, the spark gap Tesla coil isn't being used by anything. So let's see if that is part of a recipe. Uh, let's have a look at you. No, also not. Oh well. We tried and it didn't work out oh, the, the right way for us. Right, how's the Tau doing? The Tau's doing reasonably okay. Uh, where is our... No! Got taken out. Much sadness. Not as strong against the units, unfortunately, it seems. Not as strong against the units. But if we survive the next Titan attack, I think releasing this Titan to go and uh, wipe out layers is the right call. We've got a lot of pushback, a lot of AoE right now, so the, the ads are not a big problem for my units here. Oh yes, there we go. And again, no. Look, okay, I'll take what I can get. There's still a lot of damage coming down. We have dropped its health by one quarter at this point. And we've got another lightning attack ready. Maybe another one. No. I was really hoping for the possibility of like several attacks there, but uh, sadly, no. Right. Well, I think maybe putting together an Cypersaurus body with mortar. Uh, let's actually go for the basic Cypersaurus. Plus, an armor to dead with body parts belonging to the same race. Hmm, okay. That's actually not too bad. Have I got any more Cybersaurus components here? I've got two basic components. And two basic components there. That might make a basic Cybersaurus. Like, I feel the railgun is the basic. Let's see. No. Okay, well, clearly I don't understand this. <laughs> Let's get you out there. Now, that railgun might be very good for layer destruction. You are sending down a lot of nasty stuff there. Eh? Uh, that being said, you know, we did actually clear out a lot of the layers over on this side. What? I have questions. Big questions. Uh, we can get the alien parts, but I don't think we're getting the divine parts. Oh, the Jotun. Parts are divine. Ah. Alright, we're gonna do away with that then, go purely for magic. I think we've got enough. Yes. Uh, we need a lot of mana for this. We've got so many end parts. Alright, let's put you together and release you. Now, uh, sure, we're going to control. I'm going to take what I don't like it, what you're doing there. I would like you to stop. Yeah, no. What are you doing? Please stop with that nonsense right now. No, I dislike, dislike being melted by things. Stop. I'm about to lose my Titan. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. Okay, maybe, yes. Uh, the other Titan will possibly be lost if we're not very, very careful. There we are. We've got rid of, honestly, the part that was most damaging to me. It was that tree. Oh, dead god's leg. Okay. However, I don't have the... Ooh, dislike that attack in my tower. Let's not let that happen too much more, eh? There we go. Nice bit of damage there. You are going to probably melt my defenders if I'm not lucky. Oh, thank goodness. No, you got off. Oh, if you'd won then, I would have been so sad. The Titan Slayer arm with plasma sword. Now we are talking. I approve. A uh, Xeno Horror arm. Okay, the first Xeno Horror arm we've seen. Uh, 
to take on that base, though, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I kind of feel like having a Draconid would be a better option. We can have a look at that. Have I got enough defenders? I don't think I've got enough defenders anymore. But... Can I make something nice and fast? Just get up there and just... Try and rub itself all over... The base. Doing as much damage as possible. We can give it a bit of a better chance of getting there by giving it some more armor. Let's make you. Have we got a portal up there? You know, it might be easier if I just look. Uh, any portals nearby? That actually might be the best one for us. Alright, release. Did I release it in the... Oh. No, yeah. Mm. Did I? <laughs> I did. Okay, never mind. Uh, no. Where are you? There we are. Yeah, you are. Okay. okay. But, you know what? I'm going to just let you walk over here. And while you're doing that, I'm going to drop some spells. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's get some more lightning. And some even more me Oh, my lord. All of the meteors all of the time. This might be it. Actually, I think it probably isn't, but I'm very happy with the amount of meteors we just got to release. Double cat, triple cats. Oh, luck is on our side. It's down to 14. Ooh, what's happening there? No. No. Naughty. Naughty. Kill everything here. Did we just survive? I think we just survived. Oh. Heal the tower. Twice. Heal the tower twice. Thrice. Three times the... Four times. The game wants us to win. This is it. Are we going to be able to... Uh, are we going to be able to live up to the game's expectations? That is the big question. Let's get some strong defenders here. Uh, let's go for the crossbow. What kind of head do we want? We'll pop that down. Just defend this place, please. We've come too far to lose now. I want more defenders. Uh, actually, no, Xeno, Xeno Horror body there. Chainsaw is a solid option, and the hammer is honestly amazing. The pushback on that is a base defender in and of itself. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Release. Defend. We're not going for the Titan option here. I think that is uh, clear enough. Right, what I do need for you, though, is to get up here and take this place on without it killing you. Problem is, I've got a feeling that it might be able to. Okay, you've got regular enemies. It, they are no match for my... Uh, sorry, the, the base itself is no match for my armor. What will be is the minions. They will do lots of damage. Right, you've released your friends, so I should be able to just get in there. And drop down a lot of fire on the ground. I think we might be able to win this. There we go! Cat, so, this is what you're up to. Stealing an entire disc? Yes. I had to find a disc with a control note for that. But what for? Are you kidding? Terramorphing technology. Manipulation of life and death. This is the treasure trove. The master who created all this. Who is he? Have you heard the legend of the Necrosmith? No. I don't. Uh, don't have it in my book. Oh, right. It's a very old legend. More like a myth. <laughs> Still there. Uh, so, according to this myth, all living things in the universe were and continue to be created by the Necrosmith. Necrobatser uh, says, even though he himself is not alive. Really? Really? Oh, my lord, really? He uses his disc anvils to forge new life and tempers it eternal uh, tempers it in eternal battle, reviving it again and again. He then releases the successful specimens into the world. Kant says, And you think that stealing a disc from the Necrosmith is a good idea? Ah, that's a good point. Well, he has a lot of them. Maybe he won't notice shit. Yeah. Okay. Is this gonna be a boss battle? I hope it's so. That leg is still there in the middle of the boss battle. Okay. 
my tower. Rude. It is a boss battle. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, it isn't over. Oh, my poor tower, though. Why? Why would you do this? Well, poop. Okay, I need you over here right now, Womp. Right next to this? You are kidding me. Uh, that is that is unfair on a level of unfairness hitherto unknown. You are going to destroy my ta Oh, my lord. There is nothing I can do here. Well, wow, uh, there's quite a lot of things I can do. I cannot give up. Uh, did I survive? Uh, well, my tower did survive, yes. No, it, okay, it survived for a moment. It survived to gloat about surviving. And honestly, what's better than that? The classic I am invincible splat. Ha, huh, okay, so I've been thinking a lot about this master. Yeah, me too now. And why are you so eager to die? <laughs> Haven't you noticed? Notice what? It's impossible to die here. What do you mean? We keep dying, and then we are alive again, as if nothing happened. We die? I couldn't have missed that. Looks like you did. But how do we come back? I think it's similar to how I revive our dead, our dead servants. But they don't have souls, and I definitely do. That's because I haven't fully understood the technology yet. So it's not you who revives us. Of course not. I can only reanimate a soulless body so far. And what brings us back to life does so fully and on the entire disc all at once. Who is even capable of that? Well, Master, obviously. I have a theory. Uh, okay. So, my, my elation, short-lived though it were, was quite genuine. I think we did an amazing job there. <laughs> we got 75,000 dapper ducats that we're going to be able to spend on a bunch of stuff. We've also got a load of different things. You know what? Considering how many artifacts we haven't got yeah, that kind of makes sense. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to have a proper look through all of these uh, artifacts and choose what we're going to go with. Let me know what you think we should roll with in the next run. For now, though... I'm thinking, well, we, we really had two titans. Maybe I need to just make some less powerful titans and just release them more frequently. Just have them out destroying layers probably would have helped. If we hadn't had to deal with the layers there, we would have been okay. It was the fact that I hadn't cleared the whole disc before fighting the master, which was the problem, I think. So that's definitely something we want to work on. Also getting the Cybersaurus and mechanoid body parts every night that would be huge but wow that's quite far away from us uh so for now i think we're going to upgrade meteor to level four obviously huge meteor damage i could also upgrade the magic smithy maybe but you know what our cat deserves a better bird. cyber cat bed with hollow mice the best of all cat beds we're not having the extra Titan, but I will look into that. It's not actually that expensive for us to get, ultimately. Uh, we could upgrade the shield, but I'm thinking the uh, aviary. There we are, six harpy body parts. We'll also get the bioreactor down here. Five lizard parts. We barely made any lizards. And then upgrade the uh, the healing spell. Okay, with 3,000 gubbit, you know what? Sure, we'll, we'll upgrade our teleporter as well. We'll see how good we can make this. If we can get it to the point where I can teleport them within a minute, then that means I can be a lot more aggressive with uh, using my titans away from the base, because at a moment's notice I can pull them back. Alright, there's still stuff to unlock, and there is still more secrets to uncover, but that is going to be it for us for today. I really do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a blast. We uncovered a lot. Considering, I mean, you know, it's not the, it's, it wasn't the first try. The first try, we died abysmally. But I'm quite happy with what we managed to do on our second try. And it's only going to get easier from here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I still feel that I need to unlock a couple more Titan parts on the second disc. But I can do that a bit off camera. And uh, when we return, I'll probably have a little bit more cash to play with. We'll uh, 
probably upgrade at least one or two things before jumping into another bout. I hope you're looking forward to that as much as I am. But until then, and as always, from myself, the Necrosmith, and of course, our Cyber Book Cat. Do take care.